with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Surfer Girl, Sainz and Lando Norris. Goodbye for now then, but really we're just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. here in the coastal shores of Florida for the Miami Grand Prix, which has become the 11th Formula One track held in the United States. The grandstands are packed for what we hope is going to be another fantastic race. Well, it's certainly not sunny here in the Sunshine State. A lap of the Miami Grand Prix features 19 corners and 3.36 miles of track around the Hard Rock Stadium. But these conditions should prove especially difficult for all of our drivers today. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Surfer Girl lines up on pole position, and the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Leclerc, Max Verstappen, and Albon, Ricardo, Russell, Hamilton, and Esteban Ocon, Stroll, Gasly, Kevin Magnussen, and Bottas, Joe, Oscar Piastri, Yuki Tsunoda, and Mick Schumacher, Vettel, Schwartzman, Latifi, and Daniel Tigtum. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Well, it's not going to be plain sailing for our drivers today, although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. Anthony Davidson could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. Judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. Right then, the formation lap has started, and I must say the weather conditions aren't the best today for visibility and for grip. As each driver performs this lap, they'll be wanting to settle in and concentrate, as this race, in these conditions, will require a lot of focus. As the cars make their way back to the starting grid to form up and get ready for lights out, Let's hope the race ahead today is a thrilling one that will go down as a memorable Grand Prix in the history books.
10 minutes left of this rain and we think it's going to dry up. 10 minutes. Into seems to be the fastest tyre for now. Green flag. Some information on Magnussen for you. They're retiring from the race.
quite soon. Be careful you don't burn out your tyres. OK, roger that. Soft tyres at the next pit stop. Confirming that we'll be moving you to an aero setting of minus one. Minus one. So we're looking at another five, maybe ten minutes of this race. Inters look like the best tyre for now. Get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember there's no overtaking until the timing line. Safety car in this lap. Okay, clear. 
roll ahead. Okay, the gap is less than a second. Time last lap was a 206.9. Conditions look stable at the moment. No rain currently expected. Inter seems to be the fastest tyre for now. No rain expected for the time being.
the performance on the track today. A well-deserved victory. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. Let's have a look then at the driver's standings. Surfer Girl increases their championship lead. Now, let's discuss Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? But there's no question in my mind, it has to go to George Russell. What a performance. He's got every right to be proud of what he accomplished out there today. Let's move on to the constructors. No change at the top spot then, but with today's points, their hold on that lead is getting weaker. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, that was certainly an exciting weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for more exciting Formula One action very soon.